Hello guys, welcome back. So, obviously we're back at it. Uh, today we're at a place called Wild Reef. I'm sure if you've been watching for a while, you, you know the site. And uh, we're diving out of wild scuba, obviously. But, well, I was gonna go show you the beach, but now it's really dark, so there's no point. But basically, we leave out of wild scuba right here at, at the front, nice sandy beach. But today we're gonna walk pretty far down the beach to the left or the north and explore kind of a new area. I mean, not new, we go there sometimes, but you know, sometimes like our last dive here, <laughs> we just went straight out with the intention of going way down there, but we saw so much stuff just right here that we didn't make it far at all. We didn't go, we didn't go far at all. So today, we're not going to get tempted. We're going to walk all the way down the beach for like at least 100 meters at least because it's low tide. Then we're going to get in and hit the reef spots. It's always a good night dive here. You got your macro camera? Well, I said it was kind of not so good lately. Yeah, I told him last time we just went straight out. And we got so distracted at this like artificial reef area. We never even went to where we wanted to go. Yeah. So today we're gonna walk before we even go down, save our air, walk pretty far down one or 200 meters and then get in and dive back. Yeah, game plan, we swim behind the boat and go down. Yeah, I, I wanted to show you guys the beach and the boat and everything, but it's so dark right now. I don't think you can see anything. It's way out there. So if we look at our dive map, we're heading to Wild Reef, one of our favorite dive sites, especially for diving at night. So if you thought this little nudie break looked like something from Pokemon, you'd be correct. We're actually on the hunt for the yellow one that looks just like a Pikachu, and that's even its nickname, the Pikachu nudie. But this one is the exact same, but white. Still an awesome find. These guys are the reason we love scuba diving in the Coral Triangle of the Philippines. The marine biodiversity here is second to none and every single time we get in the water, we see something incredible. Here's another nudibranch species, one that we've probably seen before. But, of course, I'm not going to pass this up. Just look how beautiful it is. Where on land can you find so many amazing looking worms and snails? And here's something really interesting. These are mushroom coral pipefish, and they are related to pipefish and ornate ghost pipefish and seahorses, of course, but they're a little more rare and possibly even endangered. They were first discovered in Mindanao, actually, but now they've been found in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea as well. But either way, there's something you don't see every day. And it's just another species that needs more study and needs more people interested in them, which one day can hopefully lead to more conservation of the entire species. Every species on the planet deserves protection, but before people want to protect something, they need to know about it, and that's what this channel is all about. Before somebody will love a little nudie break like this, they need to know that it exists. 
So that's why me and Finn Snow, we go out every day and find and film things that most of the world has never even seen. And we get a little extra thrill if it's something we've never seen ourselves. I've got many messages on Instagram as well as emails from kids saying that they've decided to make their degree marine biology and a few of them even decided to study nudie break. It's an amazing feeling that in one small way we can help change the world and maybe even protect an entire species. Of course, the world is full of critters that all need more understanding and more conservation, but underwater is just countless species that nobody has ever heard of. I mean, take these head shield slugs, for example. There's actually a huge community and fan club for nudie break and sea slugs and marine flatworms, but you don't see that kind of love for snails and worms above water. You guys could go right now online and search on Facebook for nudie break, and there's countless fan clubs and groups just for them. And you can see why. They come in so many different colors and shapes and sizes. They're just amazing. And there's probably 5,000 known species in the world of nudibranch. And it's just interesting trying to see how many you could find in each dive. As known and loved as these guys are, of course, there always needs to be more education about these species. More education can lead to more conservation and general protection of the entire species. amazing critter is a crinoid shrimp and I've shown this on multiple other episodes but you can see how awesome these colors are of course some are just black and white striped and blending perfectly with their home which are crinoid feathered sea stars but this one was candy color kind of a pinkish reddish color along with its white and if you look closely there to the left is a little one another little shrimp It's just incredible how many things you can see in the 60 to 80 minutes while you're on a dive. But for those of you that can't try scuba diving and seeing what we see, at least we get to show you ourselves and you can watch it here on YouTube. I don't know very many channels where you're going to see something like this. Take this for example, how many of you knew this ever existed? This is an orangutan crab. Yeah, you can see where it gets its name. You can barely even tell this guy is an orangutan. He was so small, he must be a juvenile, and he just looks like a fluff of algae, which is what he's trying to do. But if you look closely, you can see that it's an extra crab with arms and legs. One of our recently new favorite shrimp species is this marble shrimp. They can actually be pretty difficult to film, they're pretty shy. But at night, they like to come out of their coral hideouts and give us a look. This guy was abnormally okay with my lights and camera, so of course I took the time to film him. They have such an awesome pattern and colors. It's such a cool species. 
I have no idea if these guys are popular in the aquarium trade and if anybody are breeding these, but it's just awesome to see them in the wild as well. I think you guys can see why we love night diving so much. There's so many cryptic little species that only come out at night. It's such an amazing time. So some of these critters, like this little nudibranch, are common that we've seen before, but a few of them are brand new for Project Nudibranch. If you haven't been following along, Project Nudibranch is our goal to find 200 species of nudibranch, flatworm, polybranch, and sea hares, and because we're writing a book about species of Darwin. We hit 150, so our goal now is 50 new species so that we can finish the book. And every night dive we do, we cross a few more off the list and get closer to our goal. Some of them, like this little orange one, are impossible to ID. I think they're just juveniles and they look nothing like their adult counterparts, making it hard to figure out what they are. This tiny little snail is really hard to film, but this guy, he was a little bit cooperative, so I can finally see his head. That head and rhinophores right there, they're impossible to see with the naked eye, but with the macro lens, I was actually able to see it. Here's another new species for Project Nudibranch and a wonderful welcome to our book. Check out that little shrimp though. That baby little shrimp is jumping on his back and he's trying to steal the show. <laughs> In this shot he's doing a total photo bomb. Now I don't know if I'm filming the shrimp or the nudibranch. This guy's right in front of the lens just looking at himself in the reflection. It's hilarious. Nudibranch has no idea what's going on, but little shrimpy is loving it, is fully aware. There's a lot of plankton on this night as well as little shrimp and krill, and I was trying to get away from it, get different angles with only a nudibranch in the shot. But as you can see, these little tiny critters and shrimp are just photobombing every angle. Now you can see the whole shrimp. You can barely even see the looty break. I'm not sure I even knew this was going on when I was filming it. guys so this is some weird footage this is a mouth brooding jawfish and as you can see they lay eggs and put them all in their mouth they keep them in their mouth to protect them until they hatch the problem is when I started filming him he was okay for a while I was pretty far away probably about two feet but then he spit them out I'm not sure if he was being bothered by the plankton from my lights or he was bothered by me and my lights themselves. But when he spit them out, I was a little bit traumatized wondering what was going on. As cute as he is, I didn't know if he was abandoning his eggs because of me or if he was just aerating them and letting them go on their own for a while, I don't know. But I learned a lesson. If I ever see something with eggs like this, I'm not gonna bother it. I'm not gonna stress it at all.
This one is a definite new species for Project Ladybrain. It's a flatworm and an amazing color that we've never seen them in before. It's kind of the coloration of coffee and you know I've seen them dark brown, black, I've seen them bright yellow. But this guy was a weird combination like cream. He was really cool. And actually on this same little spot there was about five of them. When I turned on my lights they all kind of scattered but I filmed some of them still together. this shot you can see a few of them still on the same little area and you can see that one on the bottom is just crawling down into some crevice now here's one that we've never seen before even though it's quite common this is a huge one too it's about five maybe even six inches long and probably four inches tall we've seen similar ones to this where they have a little shield over their butt feathers but this one was a little bit different texture and quite different color it's still a really really cool find something that we've seen photos of before and had just not been lucky enough to find for ourselves this is definitely getting a feature in our book and we're glad we finally got to see it Now guys, I've seen this one before, so it's not a new species. It's the second time I've seen it at the same dive site. But this has got to be the weirdest nudie break in the world. Look at his back. It looks like somebody chopped it off with a knife. It's completely flat, and you can see his little butthole right in the middle. It's a freaking hilarious nudie break, and probably the biggest one I've ever seen. This thing was at least a foot long, even though it looked like it was chopped in half. It's so weird, and its head is actually shaped like a giant sea hare, so I believe it's somewhere in that species. Ah, uh, another good dive, huh? Yeah, super good. A lot of flatworms. This is like a flatworm heaven, this place. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I think it's flatworm season. <laughs> every time I see some, a lot Worms. of something, every time I see a lot of something, I say, oh, it's the season. <laughs> So the reason there's a whole bunch today, plus the red red nudie, that's a new one. Yeah. I, don't, I have to confirm. And what maybe the nudie that I spotted at the beginning, it looks similar. No, I think I have that one. I have to check. It looks like a baby one that I have, but still way better footage this time. So I'm super happy with this dive. Either way, I got to check. You guys probably already seen because I've edited it by now, but I got to check what ones of those flowers are new for sure. But we know that... At least two are new. At least, yeah. yeah. And that, that, that red nudie for sure. Yeah. What do you think, Alex? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is never overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, tomorrow. You've seen everything. <laughs> Unless it's a turtle. Tomorrow, two more dives. During the day, though, right? Yeah. We're going to go to Basak and somewhere. So. Chillax day. Yeah. See you guys on the next one.